Let's go over the two things every single gamer in Linux must have. Yeah, this is gonna be a fun one. I haven't been a little bit since I did a gaming video in Linux, and I thought, what better way than to go over Mango HUD for all your beautification needs. Uh, you know, a lot of Windows users come to Linux and goes, where's Fraps? And I'm like, oh, we don't do that here. We got something better. And then also, obviously, still touching on Custom Proton. I'm not gonna spend much time on that one as I've covered it in past videos, but I'm gonna show it none the least, and then we're just gonna jump in game and see this awesomeness at work. Check the timestamps below, and with that, let's get into it. Now before I begin, I do live stream over on Twitch, both Monday and Friday, so uh, click the link in the description, go to twitch.tv Tech, or if you're not a big Twitch guy, you can always check these out after the fact uh, at Chris Titus Tech Streams, that's the Stream Archives channel, but it is fun to jump into stream and ask me a question live, and that's why I love doing that. But with that said, let's jump over to the desktop here. And look at these wonderful projects. You got Mango HUD right here. Uh, Mango HUD gives this on it. You can see your GPU, CPU loads and temps. You got VRAM, video RAM usage, regular memory usage on the actual system, the actual FPS you're encountering, and frame times. Pretty much everything you'd want, but it looks sleek and sexy, and that's just the best. So if we scroll down to the install, there's a bunch of different ways to do it. You can just download it from the releases tab, which is probably what we'll do. Arch-based and Fedora-based, you can actually just go ahead and just type install and then Mango HUD and away you go. Uh, we're actually using a Debian based system. I think this is actually Ubuntu server that I'm on right now. So we're gonna just go ahead and use the GitHub releases and install it. All we need to do is extract it and run Mango HUD setup. And that's it. So uh, let's go to releases and you'll see I've actually already pre-installed it, but I'm gonna just pretend like I'm re-downloading it. Come down to here. Just download this first one, the tar.gs or gz, and we'll come over to our file browser, extract this here, mango HUD. And from the extraction folder, we need to run that. So from here, we'll run this setup file. We'll just grab our entire path. So let's actually change the directory over to mango HUD. We'll just paste our directory in there, and then we're just simply doing a forward slash mango HUD. Or mango setup. Oh, and uh, install. All right, it's installed. Simple as that. Very, very fast. Uh, less than a second as far as the installation go. So Mango HUD is uh, officially up and going. Let's look at the how to actually use Mango HUD though. We'll go back here. And under usage, you'll notice that you can easily do Mango HUD and then the app, and it'll launch with that overlay in it. Or on Steam games, you just go Mango HUD and command in the properties. So let's go ahead and do that, we'll copy that, and come over into our Steam. All right, from our Steam library, we're gonna actually just go to Skyrim, we're gonna hit Properties. I've already pre-installed this, so we can just uh, change the launch options to include Mango HUD, hit OK. We're just gonna leave all it as default right now. It's probably gonna use, I think, 5.07 Proton, so a little bit older Proton version. Uh, but it should still play. So I'm gonna throw my headset on and we'll launch into this game. All right, uh, uh, as far as options go, we're just gonna go ultra quality. Uh, it's all gonna be full screen as most times you run a game in Linux, you wanna run it as full screen. Oh yeah, check that out. All right, so the actual HUD actually disappeared on me. So I'm actually gonna change this command based on their actual website, it says, or alternative, use this for Vulkan, which most games will actually be using Vulkan. So uh, with that, we'll go ahead and flip back and uh, change this out to equal one. So if you do run into this problem, I thought I'd, I wouldn't just cut it out in the magic of the edit. I'd go ahead and show it. So it showed Mango HUD at the very beginning there and then just kind of cut out or, or just disappeared on me. Uh, I'm gonna do that. And we're gonna just go right into the vanilla version of it and see what we get. Yeah, that fixed it. All right, so we got it up there now. We'll go ahead and hit continue and just see how our performance is on old Skyrim Special Edition. 
So we're in a dungeon here. We're capped at about 60 frames per second. Let's see what we get. Let's uh, hit this little switch up here. Maybe that'll... Oh, a little usage, a little spiking on the GPU. You can see it in the percent there. Still a very solid 60 frames, though. Ow, ow. All right, so pretty pretty darn clean. I mean, it's, it's Skyrim. It's a bit older game, so I imagine it running on a little RX 580 like I got is just, you know, it's going to breeze right through it. Ooh, a little stutter there. You could see that on the little frame time. Um, but sometimes a lot of games, when you load in for the very first time, you'll see a little stutter. Uh, so with that, I just kind of want to do a quick little run through here. Let's quit out and try a different version of Proton, see if we still get the stutter or the occasional 100% GPU uh, based on what we just saw. So for the next project, obviously, we're going to go to Glorious Egg Rolls uh, <laughs> releases. So I actually usually grab two of his releases, usually his most recent one, which right now it's 5.8 GE2. And then I always grab 4.21 GE2. Uh, 4.21 is really good for older games, and, and sometimes it plays a little bit better. So I like to grab both these editions, and we're going to install one of them. I've already installed 5.8, but we're going to install 4.21 as well, just to have it in our library. So if we go to our downloads, uh, we'll see 4.21 here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open this. And we need to extract the folder in this uh, compression into a, a specific one. So uh, let's go in our home folder, which we'll just go home. And we'll go to forward slash dot steam. This is a hidden folder. Go over to root and then compat tools.d folder. If you don't have compat tools.d, just simply go into your little pancake menu, create a new folder, and then away you go. So you can just create a new folder, name it compat tools.d, open it up. As you see, we already have Proton 5.8 there. We're just going to copy this guy right on over and it's extracted. So uh, from here, we'll just close out, and it's installed. So that's as easy as it is to install. Obviously, uh, we'll just quit out of Steam, and then just go and relaunch Steam, and it'll uh, go ahead and pull in this new version of Proton, and then we're going to select it in the menu. All right, we're back in Steam now. We're just going to right-click, hit Properties, Force a Specific Compatibility Tool, and we're going to go ahead and put the latest and greatest Glorious Egg Rolls Proton on here, 5.8. Hit close and let's hit play and see what we get. All right, we'll hit continue and back into the cavern just to kind of try and do exactly what we're doing. Let's see that GPU. Is it spiking to 100 like it was in the official version? Um, we'll get this going a little bit. Go first person, out of first person, click the lever. See what we get. Seems a, oh, there's a little bit of 100, but. The frame times is really what we're looking at. That little little line graph. You'll notice that a lot of Glorious Egg Rolls editions usually has a little more stability. Now, I remember us dropping a frame right in here somewhere. We'll flip back and forth between our POVs. Just see what we got. Don't really see. Just so smooth. I mean, it, the first one was very passable. And honestly, I don't really need the custom edition. But I wanted to just go ahead and do like an apples to apples comparison between the two. Something this old, you're really not going to notice too much of the performance increase. Um, but as you saw, you did still get a performance increase by doing the Glorious Egg Roll Edition. And that's the two things you really need to know about this. Uh, I got to say, it's really fun just kind of tinkering around with a lot of the gaming in Linux. It just keeps getting better and better and better. Uh, and I wanted to revisit this one, show the FPS, because I was in Windows trying to get like fraps or something going, and then I pulled it up finally, and I'm just like, ugh, this kind of sucks compared to what I got in Linux. So I wanted to revisit it and say, hey, if you aren't using Mango HUD for your benchmarking in Linux, use it. And some people are asking me why I don't do benchmark videos, and that's simply because the creator of Mango HUD has his own YouTube channel. His name's Flightless Mango. Absolutely fantastic. Go check him out. His benchmarks 
are way better than anything I could do. Uh, furthermore, if you do use any of these projects, such as Flightless Mango or uh, the actual Glorious Egg Rolls Proton, they both have patrons uh, or Patreon page. Check them out. Donate what you can. I'm a patron of uh, Glorious Egg Roll as I use his project extensively uh, when I game. So I, I couldn't imagine a world without that living in GitHub. So I always throw a couple bucks his way every month. And if you end up using a lot of his custom versions, I encourage you to do the same. But with all that said, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. And as always, thank you to all my patrons. Without you, I couldn't make videos like this one. And I'll see you in the next one.